Hello, this is another in a series where I look at random Lego instructions. Um, last time we completed the 90s with Mtron, and now we're going to look at Space Police 1 to um, the last sets of Classic Space. So first we've got this crazy Space Police 1 set that has light and sound, light system, very, very fancy. I have never, I don't own this set, unfortunately. I have this part of it, but I don't have the rest of it. I guess I also have the Prisoner, but it's, it's a very good design. I do want to get into Space Police 1. Um, the, the red, the black, it's the blue, like all of those colors, just I feel like they work really well together. Kind of like a inverse, like a inverted version of the original Space color palette. But, or at least uh, black and translucent red. This is battery box info. I love the slightly chibi or the slightly simpler way they depict minifigures like, or shrunkated. Very cute. We kind of see a difference in the instructions where this definitely feels like a different, different uh, graphic style, at least slightly. This is a, more of a book than the later ones because a lot of the ones we looked at from the late early 90s, uh, they don't have many special things in them. They kind of feel stock in a way. I guess it's similar to modern instructions. Yeah, this build, really, really complete feeling. They, have to, they fit a battery box in it, which is insane. Uh, it still feels good despite that and everything. Now this has to explain the way the light up system with the uh, magnetic bricks. And in the back, we get an alt build. Wonderful, I love this. This one's funny because it's like they separate the two things. Uh, where's the battery box? <laughs> but yeah, Space Police 1. Oh, these prints are good too. I have another set from Space Police 1, actually. Uh, let me get it. I think I bought, almost by mistake left it in with the classic space, but no, it is Space Police 1. And that is the Command Lockup Base. Just a, a great set. Uh, it has one simple gimmick, but it uses that, rides that one all the way home. Uh, it makes basically perfect use of the space by using all of the space and the elevated nature, which is very good, very good. But yeah, as a, dis as a play thing, it's great. But as a display piece, very skeletal. Not a lot going on, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of very dense instructions here. Very confusing too, with trying to match up everything, especially with a function. Sorry if you can't really see what's going on. Just flipping through it, just get through it. But... Oh, look at that. A nice photo. In the back, hey, uh, shows the play features with, um, I guess closing and opening the prisoner cell and the um, raising of the cell down into there, which is just so good. And the way that he flies, so much movement in this, oh my God. And this alt build, which I guess uses the um, weird uh, track system to move this thing up and down in more of a direct way. <laughs> that little flyer looks really bad, but eh, it's unique, it's unique. Still, still gets the idea across. I guess that goes up and down. Perhaps that's some sort of scanner or something. Very militaristic, especially for late 80s Lego. They usually try to stay away from that, but this is the point. The police is in the military, it's different. I do have one other Space Police one set to look at. This little guy, um, I've actually built this before. Oh, oh, I guess it's a different set. <laughs> I have three copies of these instructions. I definitely own at least two of this set, or the pieces. Um, it's a nice little set. It's hilarious how this entire thing is built on one uh, plate. It's just a bunch of random stuff on top of there. Uh, basically like the opposite of shaping. Just kind of like, like <laughs> just, just random stuff on the plate. Very two dimensional. Oh wow, do you really have to put the that kind of tire on there? That's very weird. Huh, I, I've never even realized that. I guess I never paid attention to that part. Yeah, very basic instructions. We have a blue grid in this one, kind of a different grid than the other Space Police ones. I guess they're all different. Um, it's a little thicker and uh, less sharp. So yeah, we got three of that. And then before this, there was Blacktron 1. I don't own any Blacktron 1 sets, they look great. Kind of a similar um, color scheme to Space Police 1, just with yellow instead of blue, and I think there's translucent yellow. But yeah, um, I do wish I did have that theme, but every set in it's quite expensive. I think there's only six sets, but. Next we have Futron, one of my least favorite space themes. Um, this simple offering is an exception though. It's just a nice simple set.
kind of very similar to classic space, you know, Futron in a lot of ways just feels like uh, slightly more complicated classic space, but like in ways that don't make it more appealing, just kind of different. Not a huge fan of the aesthetic. The colors are also just kind of very boring. Uh, black and white and red. Oh, wow, great. Or just black and white, basically, uh, with random translucent colors. But yeah, not my favorite, but hey, I've got two of these. This is an example of more of a typical Futron offering. Just not, not very good. I feel like it doesn't make great use of these hinged pieces. Oh, it's a walker, though? That is kind of interesting. Okay, I, I take it back. This isn't a terrible set, but still just, I just find it kind of ugly. I'm sorry. It kind of packs a lot of these small one by one pieces in such a dense space, but they don't feel it's super cohesive. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this really. Unfortunately, I do want to like it though. I guess you kind of don't even really see it. It's, it's holding itself up like that. Yeah. The one Futron set I do have that's substantial is the monorail base, this behemoth of a set. Um, I don't have every piece for it. I even have the instructions to the um, accessory kit, which is kind of insane, or at least an ad for it or something. I think this it's actually folds out and shows you a bunch of different possibilities, which is really fun. Or I don't know if it's an ad or whatever, but yeah, uh, great set, great set. Uh, I can get past my qualms with the boring Futron graphic design and uh, aesthetic because this is the monorail is fantastic it's the monorail man like how can you go wrong with that this was the most shocking thing I was shocked to my system when I found out that this was in it in the lot I was just like holy crap this is an insane set one of the most legendary space sets uh, hey fold out instructions look at that wow the whole thing is just massive I can't even show it really but yeah and here's some alternative tracks or alt builds. It really does look like mostly alternative tracks because just big dome and track. This one's hilarious. This like roller coaster kind of thing going on one way. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Um. Yeah. And there now we have completed all of the um, non-classic space waves. Now we're back to pretty basic classic space. Um. And I will look at a few of those sets. Um, yeah, I will look at a few of those sets. Um, I have them in set order, so, all right, vaguely set order. This is the Starfleet Voyager. Very complicated, very busy, but also pretty cool. <laughs> I do like this set. I think it came out in 1986. This is kind of the, the last huge uh, blast of classic space, because there were actually sets that coexisted with Futron, but nothing crazy. The Black Spaceman, that is the hardest one to get. I don't even have one, despite owning multiple sets he's supposed to be in. Yeah. Instructions here, pretty basic, similar to what we've seen since Space Police. Uh, you know, a little bit darker colors. Uh, the numbers are the same as that series. We show the play feature where we have this like little vehicle that goes in and out of the thing. Very good there. Very good, very good. Uh, this is a fantastic set. Um, those ribbed pieces add so much, even though they're so hard to find and make the set so expensive. The way they're used there as a turbine is just so cool, even though, again, it makes it so expensive. So much extra stuff all over the place in this build. It just feels ex extreme. Like, this is crazy. Crazy. Oh, I like bumped into it. Uh, next in the line is the Galaxy Commander. Uh, another big set. Um... I don't like this one. I think it's ugly. It kind of feels like Futron to me with the, the white and everything. Um, also, mine is aged pretty poorly. Uh, specifically, the yellow. Yeah, a lot of the white pieces have yellowed. And the use of these um, these sort of pieces, the bar connection on these weird looped pieces, these bricks with loops, those are so brittle and they break all the time. And it's just so hard to actually use them for anything. And they're everywhere in this set. Oh my god, there's like at least 20 of them. It's insane. It does come with these two small kind of little vehicles because it's it kind of weird that it includes this base plate. It's kind of like a more than just a vehicle, but only vaguely more. I'm, I'm sure that didn't help the price, whatever it was. But yeah, oh, I love the way they draw the space people in these instructions. Yeah, not my favorite. I just don't. I'm not a huge fan of this set. I do like the play feature where you have this droppable um, box, which I guess is why they include a base plate. So maybe the idea is that you drop the thing down there. 
Um, yeah, this box, uh, very cool play feature. Uh, engineered decently well too. There's like a whole locking mechanism with it going on. Oh, I should have mentioned with this set, the play feature. It, it has a similar thing where this is actually modular and comes off um, and you can deploy like a bunch of different stuff within it. Very, very deep stuff, dense stuff. Like this whole thing, this whole thing is built. It's gonna be its own lab and that's so fun. And it also includes this little drone that has different things, different expandable modules. Just super inventive. This set is amazing. Very, very good set. But yeah, this kind of has the same idea, but not as good. I mean, it's still good. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> lots of different parts of it, but I just don't like the aesthetic of this in general. I can't get over that. This image in the back though is still very fun. Uh, we see the sets of the time. I actually think I have all of these. Yeah, I have all of them. That's actually really weird to think about, but yeah, very mixed bag. I guess I'll cover the last of the ones from this year, probably 1985 or four, probably 85. Um, this set's from 84. Um, 80, uh, this is earlier, um, yeah, so this one, this one, um, is this one, let me just find out, um, uh, where, oh, it's a smaller set, I guess, uh, even if it's not the same year, I'm just gonna do them all at once, yeah, and uh, that's not all, um, and then this one, so yeah, I'll cover these, and then the next video will be every, the last of the classic space sets. Um, taking a look at this one, this rocket launcher, very simple. I don't even think I've ever built this, to be honest. I just used the pieces for other things. Um, it's interesting that these are supposed to be separate because I always see them together and I feel like I'm going to break it if I try to, uh, unshackle that connection. Very basic set. Uh, no, nah, not my favorite. Kind of ugly. This one is kind of a small version of the Galaxy Commander. And I think the shrunkated size does add quite a bit in terms of uh, the aesthetics I don't really like. It's a little more subdued. Um, has this little spacecraft that fits in within this little locking mechanism. Not the strongest fit, but uh, very admirable of a play feature. Uh, physical. I just love play features, man. It, it, without that, what would this set be? This set wouldn't be anything without the play feature. But yeah, basic design. Kind of skeletal in a lot of ways, but it's, it's okay. This set Oh, I think the set is bad. This is a base, but it's also barely a base. It's just like this platform, these, you know, these raised pieces, um, some prints, which are cool, but the actual base is so basic. There's like nothing going on here. It's supposed to be like a fuel station or something, which is cool. Pretty unique idea for Lego space, but the actual stuff there to support that is just these very basic looking vehicles that you, you know, get in like a small American only set that's completely unremarkable. And I mean, getting a few of those doesn't really make the set better, in my opinion. It's just like, you know, more and I don't even, I don't have these built because it's like, I don't know, these are just so insignificant. Um, weird instructions though, like, I guess, I guess I had this folded in half. I don't know if it was supposed to be folded in half. Kind of makes it feel like it's actually half the size but half the size which i guess matches it with dimensions of this but it's supposed to be like this i think yeah one of my least favorite sets that i own i think um at least of this era it's just not not a lot going on it feels very yeah but a set i do have a strong positive feeling about is this one i think this is a great great set I love the rocket, the rocket launching feature, the articulation on that, the big chunky vehicle, the way the colors are so evenly separated with dark, with gray on the top, blue in the bottom, and yellow um, for the, all the windscreens and how that's kind of similar to what you see in the original wave of classic space. Just fantastic there. Uh, I still have this one built, I think. It's just a really good design. The way the whole way it deploys and everything, the big wheels, like just lots of fun there. And the, the way, oh, it has, um, what does the turntable do? I guess it has some sort of, um, it can swivel back and forth, if I remember correctly. I'll have to grab it somewhere, but yeah. Really imaginative design and everything. This is a good one. I love the aesthetic of this one. This is very classic space um, peak, in my opinion. Just wonderful. And yeah, those are some classic space sets. 
Um, if I seem negative, it's because a lot of the, I just own a lot of these scents, and I feel like some of them just aren't the most remarkable. Some I love, some I like. Um, I'm more harsh towards the ones I don't like because they're just kind of boring. They don't interest me. And when I have to think of something to say, the only thing I have to say is that this doesn't interest me. This is kind of kind of it's a little negative, but. I don't hate any of these scents, really. I know I said I hate this one, but you know, they're still wonderful prints. Still, it's got the space vibe. Still, you know, it's a unique idea, but don't don't take my criticisms too harshly. But yeah, uh, next time I will finish it up with all of these, the rest of the Lego space instructions from the classic era. See you then.